Red Scarf Girl, is a memoir written by Jili Jiang, recounting her experiences during China's Cultural Revolution, a tumultuous period in the mid-20th century. This autobiographical account offers a detailed perspective on the impact of political upheaval and ideological fervor on the lives of ordinary Chinese citizens. Here's a comprehensive summary of the book. Introduction, the book begins by introducing Ji Li Jiang, a 12-year-old girl living in Shanghai, China, in the 1960s. She lives with her parents, brother Jiang, and grandma Zhang. Ji Li is a diligent student with a promising future until the Cultural Revolution disrupts her life. Chapter 1, The Red Guard, The Cultural Revolution is in full swing and Jilly's school undergoes significant changes. Students are encouraged to embrace Chairman Mao's ideology and become Red Guards. Jilly joins the Red successors and is initially enthusiastic about supporting Mao's vision. Chapter 2, The Ribbon Jilly is selected to be in a dance troupe performing for important Communist Party leaders. She is excited about the opportunity but faces challenges due to her family's perceived class background. Jilly's family is labeled as black elements due to her grandfather's past. Chapter 3, The Revolution Jilly's family's difficulties intensify as her father is targeted and criticized for his past connections to the four olds. Jilly faces a dilemma as she struggles to reconcile her loyalty to her family with her loyalty to the Communist Party. Chapter 4, The Disciple, Jilly's relationship with her best friend, An Yi deteriorates when An Yi's father is arrested for being a capitalist. Jilly is criticized for her association with An Yi and faces isolation at school. Chapter 5, The Class Education Exhibition, Jilly's family is subjected to humiliation when their home is searched, and their possessions are confiscated during a class education exhibition. Jilly's mother becomes increasingly worried about their safety. Chapter 6, 4 Cleanups Campaign Jilly's father is arrested and detained for alleged counter-revolutionary activities. The family's struggles intensify as they face harassment and discrimination from neighbors and classmates. Chapter 7, The Search, Jilly and her mother search for her father, risking their safety to find him. They discover him in a labor camp, and Jilly is devastated by the sight of her father's suffering. Chapter 8, Examination Hell. Jilly faces immense pressure to confess to her family's alleged crimes, which would lead to her father's release. She refuses to betray her family, even though it means enduring torture and humiliation. Chapter 9. The Informer. Jilly's brother, Jiong, is coerced into becoming an informer, which causes a rift in the family. Jilly's mother falls ill, and Jilly becomes the family's main provider. Chapter 10. The Arrest. Jilly is arrested and imprisoned for her family's alleged crimes. She endures harsh conditions and constant interrogations. Her health deteriorates, and she becomes disillusioned with the Communist Party. Chapter 11, Released, Jilly is released from prison but remains under surveillance. Her family continues to struggle as they try to navigate the political turmoil of the Cultural Revolution. Chapter 12, Changing Times the Cultural Revolution gradually came to an end as Chairman Mao died and the political climate shifted. Jilly and her family begin to rebuild their lives, but the scars of the past linger. Epilogue Jilly reflects on the lasting impact of the Cultural Revolution on her family and herself. She expresses help for a brighter future and a more open society in China. Red Scarf Girl is a powerful and poignant memoir that provides readers with a vivid and personal account of the tumultuous Cultural Revolution in China. Jilly Jiang's journey from youthful idealism to disillusionment and her family's resilience in the face of political persecution offers a compelling insight into the human cost of ideological extremism.